Welcome to my channel. I'm Jojo. In this podcast, I want to talk about some common anxieties that exist among people in our age. How these anxieties arise and how we can cope with them. I hope it can provide some help to those who are struggling with anxiety. Today, we are going to talk about the topic of it. Of anxiety, and I ask a group of friends around the age of 20 to 30 for their opinions. They generally mention that if they are still students, they might be anxious about their grades, internships, and job prospects. For those who are already working, they may be more concerned about salary, buying a house, getting married, and even the education of their future. Future children. I found that the main sources of anxiety for everyone are still in the two major areas of love and career. In terms of relationships, some may feel anxious due to past experiences and the feeling of not being accepted by others. For those who are Who have already chosen their career path, they may be anxious about whether the industry they are in can sustain long-term development. In my opinion, I feel that anxiety may be related to the current objective environment and point in time you encounter, that is your stage of life. Speaking for myself, I think what makes me feel anxious sometimes is peer pressure. My definition of this is you are disrupted by other steps, and imposter syndrome roughly means that you will feel that your ability may not reach the level of the surrounding people in comparison with the people around you, and then in this comparison, you will have self doubt. Peer pressure is a particularly important point, and it indeed constitutes the source of most of the anxiety in our lives. The interesting point of this question is whether peer is a good reference, or in the process of obtaining driving force, is is it a healthy and sustainable reference to obtain driving force from similar people? Of course, the more important point is that I'm thinking about why we care so much and how peer pressure came about. When I was talking about this issue with a friend of mine, he actually mentioned a point that is, he said that people don't know what they want and they can only form their own wants with the help of other people's wants in society. And then, how does the rest of our society define it? The nearest is the circle of friends around us, and the circle of friends around us is most likely a group of the same people as us. I think this may be a a convergence of society. For example, in the simplest model in a social network, each of us will discuss one thing with the friends we contact, and then after you discuss with everyone. You may take an average of yours, assuming that all pe- other people in this social network are doing the same thing. Then what we can expect in the end is that you are constantly doing this averaging process. After that, it may come down several times to reach the same con- conclusion or form the same point of view. So I think. It may be that we are in the process of finding what we want, and the same kind of people around the class are doing a convergence of this point of view. Everyone will naturally converge and be used as as a reference. Then the second point I thought of was that anxiety must be a bad thing, at least in some of the anxieties I experienced. It contributes me anyway. Will there be changes in career planning? It is precisely because of the insistence of these anxieties that we can make continuous 
progress constantly broaden our cognitive boundaries and constantly explore our new possibilities this anxiety stems more from my dissatisfaction with the status quo i hope i can do better i hope i can find the anxiety and tension of the things i love very much this is actually different from the blind anxiety that comes from peer pressure so this reminds us that in fact Anxiety cannot be attributed to peer comparisons. This whole set of laws may be the dominant force behind it, because the whole set of law is so general. It allows many people to make many major life choices under the subtle influence of this kind of society, but without careful consideration. Then this situation is reflected in peer pressure, and everyone does it. Does this? Then we will inevitably encounter such a problem. How can we alleviate it? I think there are many ways to alleviate this kind of anxiety, such as confusion, whether it is talking to other people, revealing your worries and discomforts. It is very effective to alleviate our concerns. Fusion through communication. Then the second possibility is to try something new by summoning up the courage to try something new. It may relieve the confusion and it may allow you to find the an answer. But I think the anxiety caused by social pressure is difficult to solve. It seems that no one can av avoid this kind of anxiety, and it's not that something that can be alleviated through personal power. It's just that anxiety is often a challenge that you are worried about in the future, or that you are pessimistic and think that this matter will develop in a bad direction, or you feel that something is difficult to change. I think we might be able to try to solve it by focusing on the present moment. Then I think it is actually very important. It may be the motivation that can support you to find social meaning. Of course, we will inevitably encounter pressure from all aspects of academics and careers, but we still regard current life as our most important thing. In fact, it can break down a lot of unnecessary anxiety when we realize that. The sense of oppression comes from society. It has been shaken, so this anxiety force is no longer so strong. I remember when I was in school, the teacher said that the characteristic of negative emotions are that you feel that this matter is permanent, unchangeable, and it is your personal fault. Yes. This psychological state will actually have a negative impact on you, but when you feel that this matter can be changed and improved, and it is partly caused by the objective of environment, then your mental state will actually be more positive, because you will know that whether my anxiety at this stage is good, I may encounter some challenges or do some wrong things. They are all temporary. Then in the next stage, after I have made the same efforts in different environments, this can be changed. This is actually a way of thinking, and it needs to be const constantly changed, slowly from the habit to solve it. The last possibility is an alliance. That is, I find I think finding someone who agrees with you is actually a solution. That means paying more attention to the present moment. In fact, there is a book called *The Power of Now*, which seems to be quite famous. I think the methods mentioned in it can be used for reference, including meditation. I think meditation is a really useful thing. It can make you build a deeper connection with your present self. So I think this book is worth reading, and it may be helpful to relieve anxiety. I think a good way is to gain that sense of control. One thing to realize is that we are the deciders of our own future path. That is, no one can help us make this decision. 
It is because of this. We have a very strong strength to deal with the anxiety caused by our own confusion regarding social anxiety. I'm actually thinking whether we should accept its inevitability rather than wanting to truly exist from this social anxiety. I was thinking that is when we really understand the cause and effect. Are these problems that make us anxious no longer some problems? Finally, I hope everyone can handle anxiety well, explore our inner voice, and be a better version of ourselves. And this is our today's podcast. See you next time.